Hi and welcome to another Boom Master Technology Explanatory video. Today's video is generally going to be towards some improvements which we've made to the structure and feature based elements of our community form. So there is a new feature pertaining to our video feed on YouTube being now available directly to be viewed on the form for members and non-members. So basically anyone that can access the site can have our YouTube videos seen directly from the form page through an embedded video script from YouTube. We're going to be explaining how that works a little bit more later on. And we're also going to be explaining some navigational changes pertaining to the form and we're going to get to that later in the video although last time the video was generally towards logic gates and I said we'd be explaining the next three types of logic gates in the next video most likely although because of some of the form updates which I'd like to show as that's more current to the time we're posting this video I'm probably going to push the logic gate video to another upload day and the schedule is kind of being twisted around because some videos have higher importance based on the day it is although we're still working those out and not everything's perfect yet so there's still going to be some update videos and things of that nature thrown in with our regular content. So let's get started with the purpose of today's video right after we roll out our short video intro segment. So it's been quite a while since our last update so going right into our form you'll notice some of the changes which we've made. On the navigation row we've added another tab for directly going to the videos on our YouTube feed. So basically how it's going to work is we're still going to post all our videos to YouTube and it's going to be available on the YouTube site for our channel. Although we're going to take each of those videos and put them in an embedded format into our form. So if you go to our form directly you can also watch any of our videos right on the form without having to go to YouTube. Although many people prefer one or the other so it's really up to you to decide which is better for you as a user but for me personally I'd much rather have it directly both ways so everyone in our audience has the ability to watch our content so we've added this new tab and one of the last update videos contained a little issue we've ha been having on the site where it would say an error if I tried to redirect it and ProBoard support has been absolutely fantastic with helping me troubleshoot this problem and now we've figured it out to where the way it works is since we're redirecting it directly from the front page and there's not a clear path for the system index to follow it assumes that the other page which we're trying to get to is the subboard is a hidden folder while it's not actually a hidden folder though well, from what I've talked to pro boards with they're in the process of making an update for that so hopefully they follow up with that soon which I trust that they will and basically that means now 
we've had a kind of a compromise here towards where here is not an instant redirect you'd have to click the board main board and then you would go to the sub board and then you can see a list of all of the videos without it being blocked up from an access restriction prompt so that's one way to get to this folder so this folder is basically in list format so every video from our oldest video to our newest including this video which is going to be added there soon once it is premiered is all viewable in one nice list for our viewers so if I go to our most recent one about logic gates and yes we're going to make uh, the part 2 explaining the other three gates in a future video which is hopefully soon I think because of the way our schedule makes it work out it's going to be next week this video although I can't guarantee anything as our schedule is being twisted around as I've mentioned from the intro segment so now as you can see it's basically a type of embedded video from YouTube we're using YouTube's content delivery network parentheses CDN to take the video and put it on our form the form kind of supports as a platform for you to watch it through the embedded code and they also have the premiere date and the video description mentioned here and that's being hosted thanks to ProBoards so that's one of the things we've added another thing going back to our navigation system changes slightly is the way which we've managed to redirect it from the tab to getting into the sub board so the sub board has its own link and the way we've made a redirection metric is to follow the initial click up to the point of the sub board without there being an access restriction prompt or having the user need to go through all of the steps as here so like going through the main board and then the sub board instead if you want you can directly click the tab that says boom watch your youtube videos and then it's going to run a script that basically sends you to the same page on our form this is a sites.google based redirect um, it's going to take around two to three seconds for most internet connections although maybe more and as you see it has worked and now we're back into the list page of all our videos on the form directly so this adds some convenience factor for our users and this way it's kind of a compromise as I said we don't have any errors here it's pretty reliable and stable and it's also in one way more user friendly as we've made a redirect system to directly take you to there without being the access restriction prompt because the way it works is it takes the subboard uh, and its URL and then it paths your connection directly to the subboard it's kind of a meta refresh based HTML prompt on the sites.google thing so as I've talked to pro boards with the way they've done it is the tabs at the top can't directly take you to other stuff um, especially if it's a subboard within a board and since for my case at least okay we're having some issues so in this system we're going out of the form system to a sites.google page which I've made 
and that uses a meta refresh code in HTML script that's going to take you from there back directly into the subboard so this way we're both going out of the form and we're also achieving the goal of going into the subboard so as of now there's no problem so far and everything works nice some people may be wondering um, is there going to be another folder just in case using the uh, refresh thing here no because it's still going to cause the issue as I've seen it's kind of a chance because some of the times it'll work and some of the times it won't so for most stability reasons I'm going to choose it to run this way for both convenience and stability so that's one thing we've done with our navigation system and uh, adding our videos embedded into the form one more thing I'd like to talk about here is this took quite some time yesterday to basically pull all the stuff from YouTube directly onto the form I think we've had something along the lines of around 36 or 37 videos so far if I'm right I think it's 37 um, although yeah I'm right okay it was 37 so these are all the list of videos the one thing I would like to mention is if you scroll by each of the video it's going to say this thread is falling. This is because all of these are wanted to be arranged from oldest to newest. So if someone comments or replies on them it's still going to maintain the order for the purpose of all of them being in order from the newest videos at the top to the oldest and we can also use the navigation buttons on the right to scroll to the oldest video using the down arrow and the newest using the top arrow. The search bars here if you have a certain topic in mind that you want to go to directly without the scrolling involved and that's also available in the search. So with pro boards it's pretty nice where everything is indexed all and the search basically works all the time within what you're looking for so that's really helpful to us in ensuring that the user has a good experience and that's one of the reasons we actually chose to work with pro boards on this so I think that's pretty much it for this uh, video update one of the other things I'd like to mention here before we close out is w some of these um, will show that they're modified yesterday the the time where it sh says each of these are made public as the post that's not going to be accurate here you're going to have to open it and read the published on date if you want to know when the video itself was published to the internet publicly this is going to show you the time it was added to the community form but not the actual initial date that the given video was published to the world wide web also I'd like to throw in here um, if you're watching this the day it's launched which is today is Sunday then tomorrow is Memorial Day so happy Memorial Day and as I said that's pretty much it for this video now we're going to go back into our slides presentation to roll out our ending statements and close up the video until next time so see you there thanks for watching thank you so much for watching this video generally towards our community forum and some changes which we'd like to announce to our viewers. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel, proceed boom web search. 
if you have not done so already and have your bell notifications turned on to prevent missing any of our future uploads of content. Please note that the bell icon only appears to the right of the subscribe button after you've already subscribed beforehand. If you have any future video suggestions pertaining to the topics of computer software, computer hardware, technology topics, explain how technology works, or basically anything technical related, then please let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next content upload. Bye!